looks like we're off out camping in this. Yeah, beauty. Out while camping in the snow. We're expecting some bitterly cold temperatures tonight in the Cairngorms National Park. And we are off to a little loch, a mysterious loch, known for its vibrant colouring. <laughs> and I'm off out with fun sized Mesner. Hi, hello. <laughs> and Gaz the Explorer. So we'd appreciate it if you stay tuned and supported us throughout. Okay, so let's see if we can do this in one take. So, as I stated earlier on, we are out in the Cairngorms National Park. This is an area that's rich in crystal clear lochs. You have your mighty mountains and it has an abundance of trails. We are currently situated around 10 kilometres east of the charming village of Aviemore popular with tourists from all over the world as it's a gateway to the UK's largest national park and it's at the heart of the Scottish Highlands and here we are at Lochan Oanye as you can see Lochan Oanye it's, it's got these pine trees the famous ancient Caledonian pine trees sadly you can't see the sandy beaches but just like the Cairngorms beautiful stunning scenery and ducks we have two ducks Lochan Oanye normally it has this very unique vibrant turquoise uh, turquoise color but due to the lack of sunlight we won't be seeing that this evening um, local folklore states that it has this natural turquoise color due to local fairies who come on down from the mountains to clean their clothes giving it that majestical colouring. Um, ancient folklore also states that the king of fairies himself, Big Donald, bides here. Um, but another accusation is it gets its colour from the reflection of the pine trees and the algae that exists in the water. Now, we were contemplating a swim, but temperatures are to get down to around minus five, minus seven tonight. It's a bit chilly at this moment in time. So I don't think I'll be going for a swim. I don't think Mary's going to be going for a swim either. Um, hopefully we can get some snow showers as well throughout the evening to add to the experience, but we are expecting a drier night. However, in the morning we are expecting some more snow, so hopefully good footage for you guys to enjoy. Um, so a bit different, hope you guys are enjoying the experience so far and a big shout out to Mary for the camera work. I mean, look at the water, it's amazingly clear. So a big shout out to the outdoorgearessentials.co.uk, especially Colin, for providing me with the Flexitail Tiny Pump X. The Flexitail Pump is a little inflator that will inflate your sleeting mats. Very small, very compact, very light, and all those days of huffing and puffing and nearly dying in the process are long gone thanks to this. So again guys, a big shout out to the 
outdoorgearessentials.co.uk and what I'll do is I'll pop a link in the description box. That is a fantastic little device. So here we are with Paul Mesner. Hello everybody. Um, as you can see, um, Paul Mesner has <laughs> with him the Hilleberg as well. So or I said with Gazzy's tent, same applies with this one. So Mary, what is your setup? Well, for this evening I've chosen to use my Rabasent 900. The exact same bag that Gaz has got. Really? <laughs> Yep. You get the 900 as well. Wow, interesting. Here's something a little bit different. You've got the C2 Summit sleeping mat. Yes, I've got the C2 Summit Etherlight XT, it's called. It's Etherlight called. XT. And I'm one of those folks that uses foam the, mat. A close cell foam <laughs> mat. What's yeah. the R value on this mat? This mat, I don't know. <laughs> You've came out in minus five and you don't know the R value of your sleeping mat. It's either six or eight. It's Isla 6 or 8. How much did that mat cost? I mean, Gazi's mat is like 6.2 or something. That's for alpine conditions. So hopefully yeah. this is a this nice is and warm insulated mat. Um, what's the coldest you've been out on? Um, probably this one. Okay, so it looks like Mary's sort of winging it tonight. Yeah, we'll see. Here's we'll hoping see. Mary has a nice warm sleep. So I'll take you guys inside and you can check out Mary's gear. So here's the inside of Mary's tent. She's got a little hot water bottle. Um, the exact same sleeping bag and Gazzy set up. But here's the C2 Summit. Oh, have you got an inner liner as well? I've got um, also the C2 Summit Thermalite XT. Oh, so that's a, that's a thermal inner liner. Yeah. Oh, you're, you really should have a warm sleep, assuming that yeah. um, sleeping mat does the job. Also the C2 Summit. We have a C2 Summit pillow as well. Can we see the C2 Summit sleeping mat, please? And this is Mary's view when the woman wakes up. Mary's just getting us the C2 Summit mat, but we're really hoping that it has a really good R value. Mary, we're looking for the... Yeah. Let's see the mat, show them the mat, get the mat out. Everybody wants to see this mat. Look at that design, guys. It's a very unique looking design. I've not seen one like that. What's that? Sprung cells. Do you find it really comfortable? Yes. Mary finds it really comfortable. Just a, bit, a little bit noisy, but I've slept on noisier mats before. The Fermarest Neo Air X Lite is notorious for being noisy, but thank you very much, Mary. You're welcome. Pleasure, pleasure. And finally, my setup. Sadly, there is no audio attached to this footage due to the fairies sneakily switching it off. Upset because I am in their territory, but I was giving a rundown on the Lanshan, also advising I have created a snow wall around the tent to prevent the wind getting in, as the Lanshan is a pretty drafty tent. I am borrowing my friend's Exped Sinmat 7 as I'm not overly impressed with the Femarest Neo Air X Lite and this will be the coldest temperature I've had the Doubter Exosphere out in. Oh, and I would have said something about the giveaway I'm doing so stay tuned for that. So this tent comes with a symmetrical vestibule, you have one on either end, plenty of space. And here's the tent from the inside. It's a very wide tent, so it's a very spacious two-man tent and a very high tent as well. However, there are no lantern hanging points. But this is my setup. The Doubter Exosphere, minus 10. A little warm flannel pillow. Here's the inner liner. Again, a very thin one. And underneath we have the Exped Sinma 7. The Femarest I don't find is the design comfortable so here's hoping this one does the job. If it does then it will be a mat that I will be investing in and the Trekology pillow as well. So that's me and Mary 
having a small warm meal to heat up and then after this we're going to get the fire going so i am having noodles by naked chicken yakisoba flavored also vegetarian friendly and as you'll see from my previous videos i am a big fan of noodles So Mary's having a chunky chicken, mushroom and rice soup. Oh boy! So it's about half past seven, eight o'clock in the evening and we are losing heat fast. That's why we've got two fires on the go, but I'm cooking on that one. That's for warmth. And we're just about to get some dinner to get that additional warmth. Uh, temperatures are still expected to get down to around at minus five. Um, we're all hoping for a warm sleep. <laughs> And there's been a little bit of snow today, but um, not too much, but again we're expecting more in the morning. But I'm just about to have my sausages, and then I'm going to have a veggie steak with broccoli, and then I'm going to have some warm drinks as well. Mary, what are you making? I'm making a Filipino dish, one of the classic ones. It's called sinigang. I'm using beef. It's basically a veg and meat in a sour broth. So yeah. Guys, what are you having? Yeah, I'll have my two wayfarer meals in the tent later. Nothing spectacular, nothing unusual from Gaz, his yeah, trusty yeah. wayfarer meals. But this is our base camp for the evening. I don't know if you can hear the wind, but it's a bit of a gust and it's a biting wind that brings the wind chill right down. So we've got this from protection and plus it's also reflecting heat back onto us. Mary um, has her trusty hot water bottle as Mary was getting a little bit chillier. But is the hot water bottle doing the job now, Mary? Much You're better. Welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Veggie steak with tender stem broccoli. Right, Mary, so talk me through the process. What's happening here? Okay, so we're cooking sinigang, right? First, we must fry the seasonings. These are shallots and ginger. And then we must put the tomatoes in. Because enough to be precise, we're going to And what else have you got over in that general direction? Just veggies, ve veggies, sorry. There's pak choy, courgettes or zucchini, and beans. I love pak choy. Oh, Do you yes. any avocado? No, I'm afraid not. Monty, it's too cold for a salad. <laughs> I am looking forward to that. And Mari's end product. Mm -hmm. The cold has won this war. It's about 10 o'clock and we've all decided to go straight to bed. So stay tuned for the morning guys as the Met Office has forecasted some heavy snow and I'm doing a little giveaway. Check that out, it turns out there are some lantern hanging points. Oh 
look at what we've just woken up to. There's my tent there. <laughs> so from this angle you can see the mystical turquoise colour thanks to those fairies that come on down to the Loch Ann to clean their clothes. Ended up having a very warm sleep last night. There was some falling snow between the hours of 3 o'clock in the morning and 6 o'clock in the morning, but it appears to be cleared up right now. But I can only speak highly of the Xped Sinmat 7 and the Doubter Exosphere minus 10. The Xped Sinmat 7, it genuinely felt like I was sleeping on a lava at times it was that warm. And the Doubter Exosphere, I was very warm in that bag as well. So these are two products that I would highly recommend. What we're going to do now is do a little giveaway. So on this camping trips giveaway, it is the Eddie V sleeping mat. As you have probably seen from my previous videos, I have been reviewing the Eddie V sleeping mat and I speak very highly of it. As someone who has been struggling with outdoor sleeping, I find this to be exceptionally comfortable. Now, it's a summer sleeping mat, so I wouldn't take it down to temperatures around 4, 5 or 6 Celsius but it still can do the job in those warmer winter nights. So if you want to be in with the chance to win the EDV sleeping mat, I'd appreciate it if you just hit the subscribe button and popped into the comment section, hashtag while camping. That's hashtag while camping to be in with the chance to win this sleeping mat. So good luck everyone. Jingle bells, Monty smells. So that's us finally heading home. So if you haven't already subscribed to Fun Sized Earthwin and Fun Sized Gaz the Explorer, all right, all right. please do so. You would be absolute superstars, our best friends, absolute legends. If you dropped us all a subscribe, hit the like button and dropped a comment. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you on the next adventure.